Hello, my name is John Utley, and you're here at Utley's LLC. Um, we are a super hybrid job shop or a model shop, a prototype packaging firm. Uh, you can look us up on the web, www.utleys.com. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram as well. Um, we prototype primarily primary and secondary um, consumer products. Utley's was incorporated in 1956 by my father in the basement of his grandparents' house, my grandparents' house, his parents' house, uh, over in Forest Hills, which is about five miles that way. We're located on 61st Street in Woodside, Queens, New York. Um, ironically, it's our fourth location on this block or on this street on 61st Street since 56. Um, we use many processes, um, including obviously additive and subtractive rapid prototyping. Uh, we'll give you a brief tour after this that will show you um, everything we do. But CNC machining, or subtractive rapid prototyping, is integral to uh, our business. Uh, we do lathe and mill, up to simultaneous five axis on the mill. Uh, we generally do onesies, twosies, but we can also do small production runs. We're fast, and um, after the brief tour, we'll have separate videos, slideshows, etc., um, focusing on our machining capabilities. All right, so let's mask up and go for a tour real quick. Hello again, here we are starting the tour in the center of the shop. Um, this is what we call mission control. Got my niece and my brother in there. Everything kind of radiates out of mission control. Down this way is post production, which we'll get to at the end. If you follow me this way, this side of the shop is production, and to my left is CAD CAM. Computer aid design, computer aid manufacturing. We use SolidWorks, Rhino, Pro Engineer for our CAD, whether we're developing CAD from the get go or whether we're using. Uh, client supplied files. We for the cam we're running primarily power mill and um, and see verify for verification. Just roll through this way. Got CAD engineers, cam operators. It's lunch time. We chose to do this during lunch so it's a little quieter, a little less on the quote unquote set on the floor. Roll out here. We've got our CNC machine tools or subtractive rapid prototypers. I'm going to make this real quick just so you get an overview. Down to the right, we've got polishing equipment, whether it's automated or manual. Roll in. It's a polishing finishing area. Sand blaster. Heading down, we got our artisans, model makers, um, employees down the row. Cutting across to here, we've got your shop tools, classic shop tools, stock racks down towards the end. We've got our grandpa, going back to my dad's day, good old bridge port, tool grinders, etc. One road lathe, our vacuum forming, back form tools. Now we're getting into our CNC lathes. We'll focus on that, like I said, a little later. We'll have individual videos focusing on our capabilities. We've got some manual lathes here, more machining centers. These are the Hercos, super hybrid. We use them as off for offline programming as well as programming at the controller, touch screen. Great tools. We have my, our people can operate with the touch screen or they can DNC code. Everything's equipped with fourth axis. We keep a lot of stock, so we're ready to rock and roll. As we come through here, kind of the Here's our 3D printing, and laser cutting. We've got Stratasys, J750, Eden Object, 
3D Systems Project, Envision Tech, um, and now we're going to roll right into the mold room. This is where we make soft tooling, semi-rigid tooling, casting under pressure, um, another productive process, production process rather, come in here. It's a work in progress in here, we'll just, just jump right through. All of our jobs are on a proprietary workflow database that we've created over the years. We don't subcontract anything unless we really have to. Now we're rolling into post-production. This is where we do custom color matching, silk screening, IMT transfers on the inking tables. Uh, we have massive spray capability. Through here, do a quick walk through the spray room. We've got basically six booths over there. Or six employees can spray over there. Two plus here. Ready to rock and roll. As we swing back out, we start getting into the secondary, secondary operations, secondary packaging operations, roll stamper, hot cold stamping. Uh, and then a pretty interesting machine tool in here. We actually have a lab series. Um, that's not the brand, but it's a Franken tool. This is a vacuum metalizer. So we do our own vacuum metalizing in-house, allowing us to make non-conductive parts shiny silver or any real metal color you'd like. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna head upstairs, give you a quick walkthrough, uh, the secondary packaging operation and then we'll break out into individual videos uh, on our machining capabilities. All right, we're upstairs now. Secondary packaging. Secondary package prototypes. Similar to CAD CAM and machining. This is the digital side of secondaries. As they work things out, their color matches, etc. The data is sent down this way. And we've got multiple printers different capabilities to print out. You might take it downstairs for hot cold stamping, roll stamping, etc. to add emboss, debossing, um, foil. And then right here, uh, this is definitely a machine tool. This is a table cutter, Mamaki. So that's, that's about it. And um, we're going to roll out into individual videos focusing on capabilities. Thank you for joining us. Hello, we're here on the Akuma 5 axis to give you an illustration of an interesting machining operation in that we're using the 5 axis for this job to almost simulate a pallet changer or uh, the ability to run multiple parts as opposed to cut a very complicated piece in one shot, including undercuts, etc. Um, Mike, do you have any comments on uh, what you're doing here? Yeah, so John, right now in the machine we're cutting a part of a compact, since we do a lot of work for the cosmetic industry. And it looks like a very simple part, but what makes this part very complicated is on the side here we have to put a very small 1 16th hole in. So normally we would have to do it in multiple operations to get that done, but because of the five axis, we can do it all at one time and orientate the part so we can get that small drill down right where we need it on both sides. All right, here we go. So let's fire it up. Right now we're just doing the spotting. We're not actually doing the drilling. This is just for demonstration. CAD CAM again. We're with Antonius here. We're taking a look at some CAM and verification of for some fourth axis, simultaneous fourth axis machining. Again, running power mill and NC symbol for our verification. 
And so, Tony's, what's going on here? So basically what I'm doing here is we developed a program through Power Mill, and I have my tool paths that uh, are highlighted in green. And uh, after I come up with a plan, I run it through our virtual simulation in uh, NC Simul just to make sure that the program will not crash and we won't have any problems in, during production. And then we'll take this whole program and bring it over to the CNC machine out on the floor. All right, so now we're out here on the Haas. This is uh, actually a VM3, and like the, all of our machines, it's got fourth axis. This is going to be simultaneous fourth. Uh, the actual run of the what you saw uh, in the cam power mill and the NC verified verification. I'm here with Antonio's. And yeah, so, take it away. So what we're doing here is we're cutting this part on the fourth axis. We just started cutting this part out. Uh, it's a very long, skinny part, and when you're doing this type of work, you're uh, you can get uh, get a lot of deflection, tool deflection, and to minimize that, we we like to uh, lay out the job in sections. So, like we, as long as we keep the material stiff, and this little uh, part of the our part needs to be engraved. So we have our engraver set up ready to go to do the engraving. And once that's done, we can cut the rest of the part. And uh, we're going to start to show that to you guys now. the shop floor at a turning center, Okuma Turning Center, here with Joe for a fun story about this tools. When we first got these tools, we had on-site training come in, great, great resource, and the guys are doing the training, but this thing's doing rapids at 900 inches per minute when it does a tool change. Yikes. And it was scaring the heck out of my, my employees, and we don't, we don't like that. So we had it retrofit with a rapid override so the guys can uh, you know, feel a lot better now, right? Yeah, yeah. a little, lot more control. Rapid override. <laughs> so Joe, take it away. Any comments? You love the tool? It's amazing, yes. And now that now that we have them separate, now I can see the benefits of having them separate. It's not always the case on all the other mills, but uh, yeah, you can do anything and everything with this machine. You can prove it all out with the IGF, which is great. Show them what, show them what you got. You want to fire it up? Fire it up. I'm back upstairs now with Ian Clifford, uh, principal in the corporation, as well as the head of our secondaries, secondary packaging. Um, he's going to show us how uh, you make a secondary Utley's box like this. Real quick, uh, just utilizing just a couple of the machines that we use pretty much on a daily basis, but. It's a combination of a digital print application laminated to a holographic carton stock, which is then creased and folded on our robotic Maki cutting table, which is a major workhorse of ours. We use it for both dial line creation, execution, as well as you know creating the actual comps and small production runs. Um, hope you guys enjoy it.
So now we are back in our shipping and receiving area. I have my mask off because we're socially distanced. We're going to do a brief take on this project. This project we developed for our marketing campaign coming out of the COVID-19. Our CAD operators developed uh, a custom Utley's bottle, actually two different Utley's bottles. Um, one is round. So this, this bottle was actually CNC machined on the lathe, subtractive, then it was fixtured in a fourth axis CNC mill and the logo was cut into it. Uh, and then we created a base to make it a true hollow fillable bottle model. Um, just for fun, again we do have additive 3D printing or additive rapid prototyping 3D printers. We printed the collar, just a random little collar turned on the lay the uh, pump and this intricate cap was actually designed to illustrate some complicated five axis machining which we can show you video of. So that, that's the one design. Um, here's a work in progress shot of the uh, cap. And the other design um, is this bottle model. This is actually a solid model. Uh, this was CNC machined. All we needed was three axis for this. CNC milled, subtractive, rapid whatever we want to call it these days. Turn pump um, and a two-piece cap. The cap is the uh, Utley's logo. Again, that would, would have been turn, lathe, into fourth axis ro simultaneous rotary uh, milling and a little turned inner cap here to make our bottle. Uh, again, we have another work in progress, um, partial bottle here. Probably the last take. We're back in the shipping and receiving area. It's the end of the day. The FedExes are stacked up. I'm heading out. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Thank you very much. You lock up for me, guys. All right.